Hello and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany and in today's video I have my nail polish collection and declutter. Now um, I wanted to have this up around Earth Day because Zoya, one of my favorite nail polish brands, often has a program where you can uh, send in your old nail polishes and in exchange you get five dollars off of uh, per bottle um, when you go to check out. Now they uh, it's an owner system so you don't have to turn in your nail polishes and then you get the coupon. You go to the website, you type in how many nail polishes you want to send in and uh, then you can just go ahead and go shopping. Now, um, it's important that when you're decluttering and getting rid of your nail polishes that you don't, just don't throw them in the trash. They are considered um, hazardous chemicals and you need to take those to be specially um, disposed of like you would household paints, household chemicals, motor oil, um, and batteries. Those are also considered um, dangerous products. So Zoya has a program where you can just box up your old nail polishes, send them in, and they will dispose of them safely. And in return, you get to have a discount and try out some new nail polishes. Um, Zoya is one of my favorite formulas. This is not sponsored. This is not a commercial. Um, I just wanted to make you aware in case you aren't familiar with it. Now is a really great time to try out Zoya if you want to. It's a nice discount. It's like 50% off. And in fact, I got an email the other day saying that Zoya is going to be raising their prices soon. So if you want to try them, they have over 500 different colors to choose from. They have quite a handful of different uh, finishes and um, opacities and colors. They're just brilliant. Go check it out. I, I'll have it linked down below. They are a company out of Cleveland, Ohio, and they are a brand that is 10 free, meaning they are free of 10 of the most common dangerous um, unhealthy chemicals that are found in a lot of nail polishes. Uh, I cannot pronounce them all, but hopefully I will be able to list them here so that you can see them. That's what they're free of. And it's just an overall good formula. It's one of my favorites. It makes up a majority of my nail polish collection. And uh, yeah, maybe go give the website a, a look around and see if maybe any of those uh, are um, interesting to you and grab that discount while you're at it, right? It's a, it's a great deal. Um, you have until May 2nd to order. So I'm trying to get this up on the 23rd. I think this will be posted on the day after Earth Day, which is going to give you a whole week and some change to go browse the website, decide if that's something for you or not. And um, I have a lot in my collection that you're going to see here in just a moment. So before we do get into the declutter, I do want to warn you that there um, is these are glass bottles, obviously, and um, I'm recording this with the bottles right underneath me and my camera so there is going to be a lot of um, clicky sounds so if the clicky sounds on the bottles bother you um, you might want to either mute it and you can watch and hopefully the subtitles will will be enough information or um, I'm going to also have time stamps down below uh, where you can see my finished drawer with everything all cleaned out as well as a jump to the end um, where you can see the bottles that I have pulled out for declutter. So I hope you enjoy that. I know some people really, that clicking really is is not, is, is a big sensory issue, but some people it's ASMR and they love that clicky sound. So hopefully um, we can find a good medium here. I'm, I'm trying, I'm figuring this out. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get into the declutter. All right, here is my collection. It goes back to the back there. There's some space in the back for extra cotton rounds, but I don't want, I just don't want all that space to be taken up and have to dig around into the dark depths of the drawer. So let's get this situated here. And I have this nice little lid because there's some things that don't don't even fit in the drawer so we'll get to those in a minute but I'm gonna go ahead and start out with my beads oh my goodness look at that we already have some dupes 
Okay, so these are my Maniology stamping nail polishes. And just pull these three up right away. These two are so, like, barely different. They are barely different. This one is just a little bit darker, and this one is more lime. This one is called Lime Pine, and this one is Lime Light. They are, <laughs> they are basically the same. And this one is Soft Sage, and I'm keeping this one. I don't think I have anything else like it. I keep that. And these two, look, I don't need them both. I mean, they're both pretty, but I don't need them both. I'm, obviously, I very rarely use them. I'm going to get rid of this one. This one is older. Um, Maniology used to be Bundle Monster Cosmetics, so this one's older. I'm going to go ahead and declutter that one. And I'll keep this one. Next, let's grab the blues. These are both different enough that I think I'll keep them. I mean, even though this is a bundle monster, um, yeah, I'll keep those. I'm just going to keep my stamping polishes separately since I use them specifically for stamping. Let's see. Let's grab these three pinks. Oh my gosh. Look at this. These two are exactly the same. They are exactly the same. They are called two different things. This is Mistletoe Magic and this is Fuchsia Flame. <sighs> Look, I just, I never, I never use these. They're both going to go. Um, and I'll just keep panic, prancing pink, I guess. I mean, I just don't, there's not a whole lot of difference between the two. Um, this one is warmer and this one is just a little cooler, but I'm just, I just don't use them. I'm just going to cut down my stamping polishes. And then lastly, we have these three. We have, this is Shadow Chaser. This one is Marmalade, and this gold one. I've clearly used this gold one some. Um, I've used it for some fall stamping. I think I'll keep this one, even though I don't wear glitter. I usually do some fall stamping. And then these two. This is, I wish I could get this color balance to be a little bit better, but this is definitely more of a deep purple. I don't know why it's looking so pink on camera, but... This is more of a purple, and it's a nice purple, so I'm just going to keep that too. And I don't wear orange, but pumpkins fall. I do a lot of fall manis, so I'm going to keep that. All right, so good. Right off the bat, I can get rid of these three. These two are exactly the same, and then this green. I just, I just, don't, I just don't wear enough of the green, and I have two others. All right, now let's pull my Essie collection. Do I have any others? No. Okay. So, like, these are all separated because I haven't, I haven't worn them in so long. This one is a very sheer nail polish. This one is called, what is this called? Just Stitched. And it's a pink with a very slight blue shift. I um, can't get that. Can't even you can't even see it here, but it's it's so subtle. It's such a subtle and it's sheer and I don't wear it. I think I'm just gonna. I think I'm just gonna. Yeah, I don't wear it. Goodbye. This one is what is this one called? This one is called Tuck in My Tux. And if I remember correctly, this one is a very sheer white and like very sheer. So I think I'm gonna get rid of this one too. I don't, I don't like it. I'm gonna get rid of that one. I'm making really good progress. All right, this one is Angora Cardi, and let's see, look at this. I haven't worn these in so long. I remember getting this one and this one for a dollar at Walmart. This one has lost its, uh, it never had a sticker, but I think this one is over the edge, and I really love this color. So I'm gonna keep both of these. And then we have the shade Trophy Wife, which I really love. Again, look, I just I just don't wear these. I don't oh, why. I'm gonna keep that one anyway. I love it. I also really love this one. This one is Aruba Blue. I love this color. This is my favorite color, blue. My favorite shade of blue. I'm gonna put that in there. And then my last two are Room or Broom with a View 
and licorice. And this licorice is actually a pretty nice black, if I remember correctly. Um, again, I haven't worn it in so long, but I think I used it for stamping. And it's pretty good for stamping. It's a little bit thin, but I remember it being a good color. So I'm going to keep this one. And I am going to keep this one. This one is so pretty. Oh my goodness, look at those purple and blue and black glitters silver glitters this one is so fun i love this one i'm gonna keep that one that was from a holiday collection i think from this last year very pretty next we have oh i don't want to deal with my zoyas yet okay yeah we'll we'll go ahead and start with the zoyas all right i'm just gonna pull that out of there now out of the way because i think we can go ahead and Let's move in just a little bit closer. There we go. All right. I've already been through this drawer once um, a couple months ago. It's the beginning of the year, January. But let's go ahead and pull some more. All right. So I have these arranged. These are all of my, my pixie dusts. Um, these have a different kind of cap. They are um, more of a matte cap. You can see because they have a matte finish to them and then the regular creams, crellies, um, and other finishes uh, have the um, shiny cap. So it's easier for me when I reach into my drawer to pull some out. Now these two are very, very similar. They are so close. This one is a little bit more purple leaning, but of course I just can't get the, the light balance right. I'm trying. I'm trying, but I'm having a really hard time with this one. So if, every, if anything looks a little off, I'm sorry. I'm I'm trying to figure this out. I've tried it at night. I've tried it during the day. Oh, I'm struggling, y'all. Okay, so anyway, this one's a little more purple. And uh, this one is a little more, um, more of a magenta. I don't know why it looks red. Why does it look red? It's not red. It is magenta. Anyway, these are both very similar. Um, I do like this one a little more than I like this one. Um, I'm going to put these in a maybe. Let's, let's maybe those. And then let's grab my two Zoya Blues. This one is brand new. This one is Isti. Itsy. Isti. Isti. I got this one from the Intriguing Collection, um, from last fall. I love this. And this one, um, Nori. I like this one too. This one has bigger, um, hollow glitters in it. And I like it well enough. I'm going to keep this one too. I'm going to keep both of these. And I'm also keeping these two. This one is, oh, I love this one. This one is called Imogen, Imogen, Imogen. And then this one is Cosmo. And I love both of these so much. These are just so pretty, like any time of the year or holiday festive. I love these. So I'm going to keep those two. All right. Actually, I'm going to lose my place here. Okay. So now let's pull these two. And I'm also going to keep these. This one is unknown. And this one is oh, also unknown. Um, we had a little bit of a polish accident when I was moving and acetone took off the nail polish off this bottle, but also the label. So I don't remember what this one's called, but they're both beautiful. I wear both of them. These have the micro glitters in them and I like them. So I'm going to keep both of them. So let me go back to my, now I'm just going to keep those in the maybe pile still. All right. So let's move all of my pixie dusts on over. Come on. There we go. All right. Now for my shinies. Let me grab my blues. Okay. Here are all of my blues. And these two are pretty close. This one is more of, um, this one is more of a gray blue and this one is more of a blue and they're just so similar sailor and brett and i like them both gonna keep them i know the difference is microscopic and then here these are this one now this one's not new 
This one is Estelle. I love Estelle. This one is so pretty. I love that. Keeping that. And I'm going to keep these two. Both of these are brand new to my collection. They are Meredith and Oceane. And I chose Oceane out when I was buying for this one. This one was also in the intriguing collection. So pretty. Keeping them both. Keeping them all. All. All five. So many blues. I love blue nail polish. It's one of my favorite colors to wear. All right. Let me put these back. I'll rearrange all these later. Now let me grab my purples. All right, here are my purples. I'm including these two because these are a like a duochrome. chrome. This is actually two of the same one, Oliveira. And um, I just love these. I don't know why I have two of them though. I don't need two of them. I guess I'll just keep one. Let me keep one. And then this one is brand new. This one is Nisha. And you cannot find this one on the Zoya website anymore. This one was also from the Intriguing Collection. It's so pretty. I love that. And then I have these two, which look very similar. But this one is definitely more of a royal purple. And this one has a little bit more of a frosty sheen. This one is Delaney and Giada. And this one is my uh, one of my favorite purples. So I'm keeping both of those. And then last, we have the shade Avi, which I believe was also in the Intriguing Collection. And I might have a dupe of this. And um, I'm going to set this aside to see if I have a dupe in my collection. But all of these I will keep, put back in my drawer. Actually... Grab my greens now. Let me grab my greens. Okay, next up we have greens. All three of these greens are different. All three of these greens will stay. These are Regina, Eunice, and Ivanka. Though I don't I don't wear this one a whole lot. And when I do reach for a green like this, I reach for my pixie dust. So Ivanka's going to get the boot. I'm going to get rid of Ivanka. I don't need that one. All right, so I'm just going to keep these two. This one is another color that I've, I haven't worn this one yet, but it reminds me of like the Grinch. So I'm going to keep this one because I wanted to do a Grinch manicure uh, this last winter and never did it. So, But I'm, I'm going to keep that one since it's a new one also. All right, now let me grab my pinks and other leftovers in here. Let me just do all of these. All right. Oops. All right, here we have... Oh, this is a nail treatment. Why, why do I have that in there? That's a, that's a base coat. <laughs> Let's move that out. Nail treatments go in a different place. It's like, wait a minute. Okay. So this one I'm keeping. This is Genesis. This is kind of a sheer white with white glitter. Maybe you can see some of that glitter in there. It's really pretty. It is kind of sheer, but um, I'm going to keep this anyway because I like it. And then we have this really pretty champagne color called Lottie. Though, I'm not sure if I have a dupe of this in my... I don't think I do. Let me keep that one too. And this one is Monet. And I really like this one. It's a nice top coat. It's got these beautiful hollow glitters in there. Love that. Keeping that. I'm also keeping this one, Brigitte. Which is one of my favorite uh, colors for when I want to do just a regular nude mani. This one is interesting. This one is, what is this one called? I don't even remember now. Aggie? Uh, Aggie. This one's called Aggie. It's a gold with a green shift. And this one is definitely a really stunning color in the fall. But uh, I just, I don't know. 
I don't know. I've had it. I've, I've worn it a few times for a few different manicures, and each time I get complimented on it, but I just don't like it. I just I don't like it. So it's gonna go too. Next we have Beverly. Haven't worn this one yet. This one's a nice kind of like a this one. It actually looks a lot like Angora Cardi. So I think I'm gonna compare the formulas of of these two, and maybe only keep one. And then next we have these two. We have Kimmy and Soko. And I don't think I have any other really true red nail polishes, creams. So I'm going to keep this one. And this one has really pretty orange and gold flecks in it. And this is a really pretty color. I don't, I don't love it, love it. But I don't know. Maybe I guess if I don't, mm, I don't know. I'm going to put this in the maybe pile too. Alright. Oops. Alright. I will organize my drawer later. Oh, also, we have this one here. This is the shade Willa. And this is a really lovely black. I need to swatch my licorice and my willa together because I think one is more of a sheer and one is more of a really thick black. I'm going to test these out on my little swatch stands that I have set up and then I'll decide. All right, next let's do, let's grab my china glazes. I think that's all of them. Is that all of them? I think that's all of them. Nope, that's not one back there. Okay. Nope, then another one. All right. Where's my stand? Okay. Next up, we have China Glaze. So here we have the shade Tongue and Chic, and this is a really gorgeous teal. Haven't worn it yet, um, but I love it, so I'm going to keep that one. Okay, the next up we have Sexy Silhouette, and I've had this so long that <laughs> the label is mostly gone. And this looks more of a fuchsia in, per in person, and not this bright pink. I'm sorry, I'm having the hardest time getting this to focus on these colors. So I'm going to keep this one because um, I like it. I'm keeping it. I've used a lot of it. Next, let's see. We have some greens here. Okay, this one is Central Parka. And this one was from a fall collection. A few, a few, a few fall, a few summers ago few seasons ago, a few years ago. It's a really pretty army green, olive green, but I don't know if I need it. I'm, I might keep it for nail art since I just got rid of that bundle monster, so we'll see. This one is new though. This one is famous for sure, and this one I think it was a holiday one from last year. Again, this one gave me really grinchy vibes and I really like that one. And here we have Don't Be a Luna Tick. And this one is so pretty. I think this might be the only silver silver that I have. So I'm going to keep that one. And then here we have white on white, which I think is my only, my only decent opaque white that I have. Okay, if I can get it open. Again, this one is so old, though. I might just be better off getting a brand new, brand new one. It even looks like it's kind of gone off a little bit. It doesn't look as white in person, and it's, mm, I don't know. I think it might be time to replace this one. I think we're going to get rid of that one and replace it. We also have this uh, Mustard the Courage, which I think I have a dupe of this in, the, in one of my um, Orly sets, so I'm going to set this aside into the dupe pile. This one is You Don't Know Jacket, again from that same fall line. I really love this beautiful, beautiful navy. 
And then this one is interesting. This is Too Busy Being Awesome from the My Little Pony collection. And while it's a really gorgeous blue, it stains the nails. So I don't know. It's been a while since I've worn it. I think I'm going to give it one last chance and then see if maybe I keep it or go. All right. So I've got one decluttered, one pull aside to dupe, and these others I'll keep. I'll organize all of these later. All right. Now let's grab my OPIs. One more. Okay, so this one actually reminds me. I do sometimes keep some bottles just for toenails because I don't really like to do the same. So I think what I'm going to do with this other bottle of aloe vera is I'm going to put these together and put them in a separate place for toenail polish because I have something similar on my toes right now. And I think this would be really, really pretty. I'm going to keep this one for my toes. And I'm going to set this one, which is a... La Positively Hot. I'm going to keep this one in a separate place. All right, let's do that. But that one, I got the updated version here. Um, and yeah, I love this pink. This is just a really pretty blue pink. It's got this nice, um, gorgeous, maybe you can see a little bit there, this beautiful like purple sheen to it. It's stunning. I love it. I'm going to keep that. So next... I have, let me see, I have some liquid sands. Who remembers those? How many do I have? Four. I thought I had one more. I guess I don't. So I love this textured polish. So I'm keeping this. This is, it's frosty outside. This one is a really fun black one called Emotions. I love this. I love it, love it. This one is... This one is nice. What is this one is? Um, get your number. But I think that I like the Zoya one better. I mean, I got it. <laughs> Discount. Um, I think I like the Zoya one better. So I'm going to swatch them both and I'm going to see what I think about that. And then here is a red one called Magazine Cover Mouse. This is from the Minnie Mouse collection. And this one is also... That's, oh, this one is just like, this one is just like Kimmy, except it's like, it's the liquid sand version of Kimmy. So I remember not really loving this one. I think I might let this one go because I've only worn it like once or twice. I don't, I'm not keeping it for once or twice, but these two I'm going to keep because um, I don't think I have a Zoya liquid or a Zoya pixie dust in that color. And I love this, um, this black sandy oh, it's just so fun it's just so cool so I'm gonna keep those all right and I lied when I said that that was my only silver because this is a silver but a slightly different texture let me grab that other one where's my other silver I'll do it in just a minute um I think I'm gonna go ahead and swatch out and dupe both of those both of those silvers so into the dupe pile this one is Take Me to the Taj on Time. This has got to be the oldest or one of the oldest in my collection. Um, I'm pretty sure that I wore this to my wedding. Um, I don't know. Take Me to the Taj on Time. Yeah. Um, I don't ever wear it. I'm just going to let this one go too because if I want a just a really basic manicure, I have some other colors. This is Guys and Galaxies. I like this maroon color. It's beautiful. I'm keeping that one. Um, same with this one. This one is Diva of Geneva. This one is just like the 
metallic version of this one. I think they're so pretty. I'm going to keep them both. Next, I'm not doing a very good job of keeping these apart here. This one is Baby It's Cold Outside, and I love this one. This one is so fun. It's a black with these really pretty silver black glitters. Keeping that one also. And this one, I think it's time for this one to go. This one is Think Mary, Pink Mary, and this one is a really pretty frosty pink. But I think this one is really old too. Let me shake that up. This one is kind of, um, yeah, it's kind of sheer, but it's really pretty. You know what? No, it's really stinky. It smells, mm, yeah, I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to wear that one. I could try to pan this one. I've never panned a nail polish, but I've got too many to try to focus on panning a nail polish. So oh, I'm going to maybe this one. Next, I have Lost My Bikini in Malokini. Love this one, too. That one stays. This one, however, is I fell, I fall for this color. I fell for this color. I fall for this color. Let's play on that, that word there. Um, this one has gotten really thick. I think this one is relegated to um, pedicures. I think this is a petty polish. Yeah, this one's so pretty. But um, this is one that I use for pedicures too. I really just need to keep my petty polishes in a different places. So that's what we're going to do. Oh my goodness. Can you tell the difference between these two? Barely, right? So this one's just a little bit darker. And this one's a little lighter. I believe in manicures. And can't find my checkbook. Um, I don't know. Like this one's just slightly lighter. I think I have... I know that I ha I'm going to... I have some um, uh, Orleys in a similar color, so we're going to dupe swatch these in a minute, too. All right, next. This one I love a lot. This one is Viking in a Winter... Wait, Viking in a... Come on. Viking in a Winter Wonderland. I like this one. This is a really pretty purple. I'm keeping that one also. And then this is Lights of Emerald City. I don't even have to look at the bottom to know. Um, I love this topper polish. It's so pretty. It's not hollow. These are really gorgeous iridescent flakes. And I don't have any other iridescent toppers like this. Um, that Monet one is um, glitter or is hollow. All right. So I have all these that I'm going to keep. Let's put these back in the drawer. Oh, I wanted to put my silver. Did I put the silver aside? I did. But let me grab my... You know what? I think these two are silvers are different enough that I can keep them. No, that's not, that's the wrong one. Do I have another silver? No, that is a silver, but this is like a grainy. It's got almost like a green gray silver. And this one is, is like a true silver. Come on. Yeah, this one is like a true silver. So I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep them both. Let's reach into the drawer here and grab my one and two offs. Treatment, lotion, base coat. All right, so here we have this Morgan Taylor High Voltage. I haven't worn it yet, but this is so pretty. I love this color. Just look at those really pretty silver sparkles and that pink. That stays. That is actually the only Morgan Taylor nail polish I own, and I really wanted to try the formula. So we're keeping that one. Next, I have these two by Koki. I love both of these. This is Heavenly, and this one is uh, Northern Lights. This is heavenly yes and I got this one in, in an ipsy bag 
and I really like the formula. I love the color. And this one I picked up at Sally Beauty, and this one is so pretty. It's got different size glitters in it, and it just really, really shifts over um, certain top coat or base coats and looks gorgeous. I'm keeping both of these. Next, I have these three salon, um, Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicures. This one I think I'm going to get rid of because I have other um, similar colors, and that one clearly hasn't been worn in some time. This one I think I'm going to get rid of also because it's looking kind of gross in there. This is black and blue. I don't... Maybe I'll give it another try. I might have another dupe, but... Um, Mm. Yeah, she should probably go. And then this one is Mermaid's Tail. And I love this one. I love those different um those different glitters in there. They're just really pretty. It's like nail art in a bottle. I love this one, so that one's gonna stay. I think this one might be similar to um one of my other ones. This is just a really pretty almost like a multi-chrome nail polish. I'm going to keep this one. I like it. All right, next I have these two by Different Dimensions. I have Unicorn and Moonbeam, and I'm keeping both of them because I love them both so very much. They're getting a little bit thick, but um, oh, they're just so pretty, and I love them both so, so, so much. So they're staying. Next I have... This one, this Ulta Rainbow Glitter, this one's got to go. This one's just too old, and I just don't, I just don't ever wear it. I don't love it. It's going. And then this is C&D Creative Play Polish in the shade, what is this, Flash Ion Forward. And this one has different, um, different shapes of glitter in it. It's got linear hollow glitters, it's got hex glitters, it's got um, square glitters, it's got diamond shaped glitters, it's got all different shapes. And it's pretty, but I don't ever wear this one either. So I think I'm just going to let this one, um, yeah, I'm going to let this one go too, I think. Because I just, I just don't love, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, we're just going to go. And then lastly, I have these three Salon Perfects, and these are all staying. These are all kind of, these are all Halloween, Halloween-y colors. Come on, can we focus here? This one is my cute little glow-in-the-dark skull and crossbones. I like this little skull and crossbones glitters in there if I can get them to move around. This one is called Witch Hazel. Witch Hazel Bone? Witch Hazel? Yeah, that's what it's called right there. It's a really pretty. Look at that cute little skull and crossbones there. And then this is a matte black and a matte orange, coral craze, and blacklist. These are both staying. I just love having um, just a ready-to-go matte instead of having to do a separate top coat. And these are both actually really good colors, really opaque, long-lasting, good ones. So, all right, I'm keeping these, put these back, and let's grab the Orleys. Okay. Goodness. Okay. So Let's see, should we pull these out by collection? Yeah, let's do that. My one-offs and my collections. Retro wave, let's go with retro wave first. We'll do retro wave first. Okay, so these are the Orly retro waves from last summer. I'm keeping all of them. They are just so pretty. 
I'm going to take this blue and I'm going to pull this out and I'm going to do the swatch comparison with the um, with the other two blues that I have by OPI and I'm only keeping one. I might keep two, um, but all of these are staying. I love this really pretty, um, like a fuchsia berry. It's a berry. It just looks like a berry. This neon green is amazing and it's not looking as beautiful as it is in real life. And um, even though I don't wear coral, there is something about this color hot pursuit that I really love. I love it with the rest of these. I love it um, with my fall manis. I, I just, it's not usually my color, but this one is actually genuinely unique to my collection and I love it. So I'm going to keep it. Next, I'm going to grab the Desert Muse collection and, oh, why do I have finger paints in there? That should have gone in the one-off. This is the finger paints in Van Gogh's Vertigris, and that one is saying. All right, so here is the Desert Muse collection. I'm keeping all of these. All of these are stunning, though I am going to pull... Um, let me see. This one is just slightly lighter than Brigitte's, and this one is going to be a really good replacement for the Take Me to the Taj on Time that I'm decluttering. This is a stunning, this one's called Sagebrush, and it looks green here, but it's definitely more of a gray with just the tiniest hint of green. This purple is so beautiful. This blue is stunning, and I don't pull for browns often, but I, this is literally the only one in my collection. It'll be great for, um, for fall manicures. Same with this really pretty rust red rock. Love all of these. Okay, and up next we have the Metropolis collection, and this is the shade Nouveau Riche, and I think this is a good, uh, very good green. I'm, I like this for me a lot better, so um, even though it's very similar to Ivanka, the one that I just chucked, I'm going to keep this one since it's newer. This one in the moonlight looks very similar to... Maybe it's cold outside, but the glitter is more intense in this one, and they're both really pretty in their own way, so I'm keeping that one as well. This one surprised me. This is um, inexhaustible, inexhaustible Charm, and even though this, it's just a stunning rose gold, and I'm not one to normally reach for it, but this one's staying. This one is kind of, um, this one is Opulent Obsessions. This one's okay. Um, no, I don't think I have anything else like this, so I'm keeping that one. That one's unique. This one's interesting. This one is Infinite Allure, and this one is kind of like a, um, a gray brown, and, um, I don't know. I just kind of love it. It's very steampunk, and I'm keeping that one as well. This one, however, huh, Untouchable Decadence. Um, it's a gold glitter. I don't... I don't wear a whole lot of gold glitter. Do I have any? Did I keep another gold glitter? I did not. Um, so I guess I'm going to keep this one too because Christmas holiday manis. I'll keep it. And next, lastly, no, not lastly, next we have this um, day trip and collection. And uh, I feel like Orly kind of duped themselves a little bit when they sent, well, I mean, that's kind of like in between there. And that one is definitely more of a teal than a gray. I don't know. I just, I like these colors. They're definitely different. Um, I don't, I don't know. I might not keep this one. I might get rid of this one. I haven't even taken them out of the box to swatch yet. <sighs> I don't know. That's just going to stay in there for a little bit longer. Summer's coming. Maybe I'll be more in a summer mood with them. And last, I have these two. This is Star Spangled, and this one is Ever Burgundy. And I think this one is going to, this one is, I mean, this is so old, too. They, different packaging. I just like, it has the same grippy top. I love Orly's grippy tops. 
Um, I think I'm going to put this one in my toenail polish stash too because it's really pretty, but I don't think I want to use it on my fingernails. So that's what I'm going to do. All right. Oh yeah, that's what I was looking at. China glaze. The China glaze. I might get rid of this one. I might get rid of the China glaze in favor of the OP or the Orly. I think I'm going to get rid of that one. All right, so now let's go ahead and, oh yeah, yeah I'm going to get rid of that, definitely. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some swatches. Oh, I forgot one more. I had another Salon Perfect. Oh my goodness, I've, got, I've just got nail polish everywhere. Okay, this one is also very similar to this one, so I'm going to get rid of the Salon Perfect. Bye! Oh, and I have two more Zoyas over here. I swear, I have nail polish everywhere. This is Saint. And this was my, the last manicure that I had in my last videos. And this one is Alice. I love this one. It's so pretty. Again, this is a purple pixie dust with um, blue and purple and pink micro glitters textured. I love it. I'm keeping it. Oh, I have nail polishes everywhere. Okay, so now I'm going to do the... Um, I'm going to do some dupe swatches on my nail stands. I've got a couple of some set up. And then I'll come back and show you what's going to stay and what's going to go. All right, I've done the swatch test and... All right, here's where we are for these. This is actually, this one is Willa. And you can see that it's one, I did one coat on all of these. Uh, Willa is kind of a sheer gray or black and I kind of like that. So keeping matte. This is one coat of the Essie Licorice, and wow, it's so pretty. That's definitely staying. These two, however, were so close. This one is the Zoya Nori, and this one is the Liquid Sand in Got Your Number. I'm going to go ahead and declutter the Got Your Number. I just, um, just kind of like the look of the Nori better. I like the blue a little bit better. Even though this one does look a little more matte, I just, I kind of like the blue of this one a little bit more and I don't need to keep both clearly. So there's that. And then this one, I went ahead and I swatched out the, um, the white one. What was that? The one that I said I already knew I was going to get, oh, white on white. And yeah, it's definitely time to go. It is not drying evenly. So I think I'm going to get some Alpine Snow or look into a different white uh, color. So I am keeping these three and I'm decluttering these two. Up next are the three blues and these two pixie dusts. This is Lorna and Ariana. And Lorna is the more purple one here on the end. It's definitely more of a sheer purple, uh, but and this is a sheer purple and a sheer pink, but I really like these. So both of them are going to stay, and there's definitely a difference. And then here, these three surprised me. Um, they actually look quite different. Uh, one coat each of the... This is uh, Lost My Checkbook, I Believe in Manicures, and the um, Far Out by Orly. So all three of these blues are going to stay. All five of these are going to stay, and I think I've got a nice bunch ready to declutter. I did not find any dupes, so this is what we're going to keep. I'm going to rearrange my drawer and show you what it looks like. Okay, I got everything back in the drawer. I've got my Maniologies and Salon Perfects my Essies and some Zoyas, and then my pairs here of the Sally Hansen, different dimensions and Koki, my one single solitary Morgan Taylor, and then I've got my uh, pixie dust formulas here, all here, just a row of pixie dust, and then my uh, sort of by color greens, purples, some reds, um, black, whites, blues, and then just by brand now, my China Glaze, my OPI, and my Orly's. And then I have my some nail treatments back here, some more matte top coats, um, matte and top, excuse me, some more base coats, top coats, some cuticle oils, 
I have some little tubs of CJ's butter that I'm going to use for cuticles. I've got some cotton rounds back there, more nail treatments, um, my Orly pins. And yeah, that's everything. Uh, the only other thing that I have is my bucket of nail stuff here. This is usually things that I'm cur currently working on and some extra things like more base coat, uh, top coat, some, who remembers this brand? It's the NYC matte top coat, really good. Some more cuticle oils. Um, yeah, and just different nail tools that don't go in this drawer. I keep those separately. So, oh, I also have my uh, toenail polish, which I'm going to put in my pedicure, my little pedicure box with my other nail tools. I've got stuff everywhere. So this is it, and I'm going to show you what all I have decluttered. All right, we're all finished with the declutter. So here is what is gone on out. So I have four polishes that I've pulled aside for pedicures only. I always do my manicures and pedicures with clean hands and toes, but I still don't like the cross-contamination. So here are the four polishes that I've pulled out to set aside. These are the ones that I usually wear anyway. So I have first up, you already saw the La Positively Hot. See that purple? You can sort of see that purple shift there. So pretty, I really enjoy that. Next up, I have this Ever Burgundy by Orly. So pretty. I also have my Eiffel for this color, this really pretty purple. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. And then lastly, I have the shade Oliveira. You can't see the purple shift very well in this bottle, but you can sort of see that purple in the corner. But that's what I have kept for my pedicures only polishes. Next, I have 18 polishes that have gotten the boot. All right, so let me try to set this down. Okay, first up, I have, let me grab these, my Essie polishes. This is the Tuck in My Tux, which is a sheer white that I just don't care for. Next is the Essie um, Just Stitched. And, ooh, you can see that really pretty blue sparkle shift there. It's just such a sheer formula that it's more of a headache than it's worth to try to build up to get to that look anyway. So I'm just not going to bother. Next, we have the Sally Hansen. And, uh, oh, this is called Up the Ante. I just have another polish that looks very similar that I prefer, so that's gone. And then we have this CND polish that's actually called Flash and Forward. I don't know why I said Flash Ion for it, but whatever. I also have these two bundle monsters that look very similar to the La Positively Hot. Didn't need them. Don't need them. So they're going. Both of them. Bye. And then as well as this Bundle Monster in the shade Limelight. It's pretty green, but again, I have so, so many. Also, this Ulta Rainbow Glitter Topper polish is going. Don't need that one. As well as, let's see, this Salon Perfect Green. And it's twin sister, the Zoya Ivanka. I mean, I've got a third one. I've three of these. I don't need three. You don't need three, Tiffany. All right. I also have the Zoya Kimmy. That's so pretty. It's really pretty, but I also am getting rid of this one, which is the magazine cover mouse. They're just, they're just so similar. Like this one is a little more pinky than this one, but they're close enough and I don't wear either of them. So they can go too. Next, I have this shade Aggie by Zoya. And again, it's a really pretty shade and I almost kept it. I almost changed my mind, but I just, if I have to hype myself up to wear it, I don't want it. And I have, let's see, this shade here, Mustard the Courage by China Glaze. It just, I feel like it makes my skin look really sickly and I don't like it on me, so. I don't know. I think the undertones in that one just don't don't work for me. 
And then I have this by OPI as well. This one is Got Your Number. I just decided that I liked um, the Zoya Orly just a little bit better. And last we have some pretty neutral shades to go. This one is the Think, Think Pink, no, Think Mary Pink Mary. And it's a really pretty shimmer shade, but I have I have others to replace it so it can go. And I have this ancient Take Me to the Taj on Time. That one can also go, as well as I'll need to buy a replacement for this uh, white on white. It's just it's just too old. It's gotta go. So I had four that are now dedicated to pedicures only, and those will go in a separate um, a separate container where I keep my pedicure supplies. And um, these other 18 are going to be offered up to friends who might want first dibs, and then they will be disposed of properly. Um, I am not going to be participating in the Zoya Polish uh, program this year. I clearly already have enough polishes and I am signed up for the color pass and I think with my last Zoya order I picked out all of the shades that I wanted except maybe the new Easy Neons which aren't part of the Zoya, um, aren't part of the discount but are really gorgeous and I'm keeping my eye on those. So anyway, I hope you fixed yourself a drink and enjoyed this video and let me know down below in the comments what is your favorite polish color to wear? Do you have any that you have maybe purchased multiple times because you've been through a few, few bottles? Um, do you, do you, are you going to be buying anything from the Zoya sale? I mean, it's not really a sale and anyone can participate. I don't think there is a, I don't think there's a maximum number but I could be wrong. Anyway, the details are going to be down below in the description box. Happy shopping. Let me know if you pick up anything. And when my Orly box comes in, go ahead and follow me over on Instagram and you'll see if I end up decluttering any more. So that's it for me. I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are. And until next time, take care.